And then look how cute these are. God, that was really difficult. Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. It is Wednesday today and I have like kind of a pretty busy next three days. I am going over to Remy's later today to finish shooting the footage for a video going up this Sunday. Oh, also, you're watching this probably a few days later so I'm sure a lot of you have already watched Pretty Basic and Wild Till Nine crossover collab. But if you haven't seen it yet, you can listen or watch to the Wild Till Nine episode on uh, the Wild Till Nine YouTube channel or on Spotify or Apple. And then the Pretty basic episode is uh, audio only on Spotify or Apple or any of the other podcast streaming platforms. I am so glad that for like guests we started with Remy and Alicia because it was basically just like a hangout. Also I feel like we pushed them out of their comfort zone a little bit. So like pretty basic but like after dark. I have not washed my hair in so many days and this has been my go-to hairstyle when the hair is dirty because I feel like you can't you can't really tell because it's all gelled down. So anyways I wasn't planning on getting ready today but I I wanted to vlog, so here's the bare minimum. This is what we got. Oh my god, also, my parents sent me a care package. I need to show you guys. Oh my god, a bit of Canadian love for mom and dad. Oh, I could cry, I could cry. You guys know that I haven't been home in over 14, 15 months now, and I've just been like massively craving some of like the Canadian faves that you can't get here. So we've got obviously our ketchup chips to love and to die for. Also, I didn't realize that you couldn't get Swedish berries in America. I went to go like look for them, the grocery store the other day and I was like, oh shit, this is a Canadian only thing. I've talked about this one a hundred times, but it's so funny how different the branding is in Canada for uh, mac and cheese. It's called Kraft Dinner KD. And all of their marketing is literally like, gotta be KD or gotta have KD or something. And then we've got chocolate. This is my favorite chocolate bar, hands down. It's like sponge toffee on the inside. We've got Smarties, which are not those like kind of weird powdery uh, little tab circle tablets. Makes it sound like a medicine. These are chocolate and they're better than M&M's. I pity the person who has not tried them. We've also got Coffee Crisp. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why this one isn't in America because this one slaps. And then I'm not entirely sure if Kit Kat Chunky is a thing in the States or just in Canada. Anyways, got some Kit Kat Chunky. So excited about that. Also some like little Tritos over here for Moose. This table right now is an absolute disaster. Oh my God. I've got some PR packages, some lashes, a new little purple set active set right there. Oh my God. This is also like a childhood stuffed animal that my mom sent in the PR package. Put this guy over here. And then I got some art. I got some art finally for the DIY room to go into frames. And I'm currently just trying to like unroll them. So I've got some like heavy books. And then this is my friend Kelsey's uh, Catan. And I have no idea how to play because none of my friends have taken the time to teach me. I've heard that it like takes a lot of patience. So I fully understand. And also, yes, I'm missing a press on nail on this finger. Please disregard. So anyways, we've got two pieces of art. This one says fucking ace. And then this one is face down still flattening, but I want to get it in the frame either today or tomorrow. So I'll show you what like the design of this one looks. Ugh, you can't see anything here. And then we've got a sleepy snoog. It's like rainy and gloomy today and I I'm here for the vibe. It's just been so long since we got any rain. Oh, bubbies. Oh, okay. So we've got our moose content into the vlog. Check. Hi guys. It is the next day and wow, I look significantly cuter today than I did yesterday. So this is something that I've never done before, but I booked myself a pure space. I think they have these all over North America, I think. But basically people that have like cool places to shoot music videos or photo shoots or like to do events can rent out their spaces for like just a couple hours for people to use. So I've been a huge fan of renting out. This is not sponsored by the way, just a big fan. I have rented out a few different spaces just for photo shoots and it is so bomb because you can take as many photos as you want with no one on the street judging you. I have like massive photo, I don't wanna say nerves, embarrassment, like secondhand embarrassment. No, first person embarrassment. It's definitely first person embarrassment. Also like I'm wearing this really cute silk like wrap top, but I'm just like the under boob looks pretty good. For someone who has no boobs, the under boob game is hot fire. But I am a little scared that we're about to have a nip slip at any moment because I'm not entirely sure what kind of bra you'd wear with this. It's so thin. But anyways, let me show you around. This is hands down the most aesthetic pure space that I have ever rented out. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my God, these couches are 
so cute. I feel like I've seen these everywhere. They're so trendy right now. We can't have any shoes on the rug, so I haven't decided what kind of content I want to shoot over here. We've got this chair. We're on the eighth floor as well, so like the lighting is bomb. We've got these black detailed huge windows. This is where I shot my first picture over here. This is just so nicely decorated. We've got this like really pretty gold mirror, some pompous grass. Oh, here's the other side as well. Oh, these couches are so cute. They're like giant marshmallows put together. I love them. We've got this side over here. Oh, this chair is so fun. It's like so modular and cool. So I haven't decided like where I want to do all of my shots. First one was in that corner over there in this outfit. Oh my God, I'm so terrified of a boob. Just like, oh, the lighting is garbage. Hang on, please hold. Okay, I've put you on a stool. Okay, okay, here's a better, here's a better. Oh my God, this boob is, oh my God, that was, that was my nipple, 100% my nipple. Um, These are the Zara jeans and I don't know if I've lost weight. I don't think I have, but like, I don't know what's going on back here. I wish I brought like a safety pin to pin these a little tighter. So like in all my poses, I've been like trying to hold, like I've been posing like this, trying to hold the back tight so it looks like they fit. And then this is from White Fox, this like wrap top. And so let me show you how I've got it wrapped. Um, hang on, let me find a new spot here. Okay, so I started here. I went around and over and then on the back, I'm sure this does not look very good, but I just tied it in a knot because I feel like it looks better when it goes around. Oh my God, this boob around and down versus like around the neck and then tight. I don't know, just like personal preference. Not a top that I would ever wear out into the world, but she cute. So let me show you all the outfits that I brought. Okay, so I literally spent like two hours last night planning all of my outfits. I've got some accessories um, and then these are all literally just like pre-planned so that I can maximize my time here and just like throw on an outfit. Oh my God, does this not scream? Nike, please fucking sponsor me. Also, fun fact, in Canada for my entire life when I lived there, I pronounced it as Nike and I thought it was interchangeable and I was like, oh fun, I can just like choose which one I wanna do and then I got here and people bullied me. So now it's Nike. Also, I finally got some leather pants and I'm not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna be way more uncomfortable than they actually are. I think this might be from White Fox as well, but they've got these cute little like splits right here so you can still show up your little sneaker and they're cute. Honestly, I feel like I'm about to overheat in four seconds but not the worst. Oh my God, confirming that. Okay, like I hope they don't do this in high school anymore. It was like kind of fucked up, but they used to like make kids run with trash bags over it to like lose weight, especially in sports where you like had to meet a certain weight class, like rowing or like wrestling. That's exactly what these just felt like, taking them off my body. Hello, update. This corset is literally so cute. Like it's so cute. It like laces up at the back with like silk ribbon, but like, bitch, this sucks you in. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay, so lots of photos have been taken. I still have an hour 20 left in here. Honestly, this has been the best. It's been so chill. I like don't feel any stress of like, not that I, like I have stress and I work with a photographer, but like I have so many poses that like I haven't done before and want to try. And I feel like the workshop portion of like wanting to do a new pose like makes me a little embarrassed. So it's just like so freeing to be able to take ugly photos in peace and then hopefully get some good ones within the ugly ones. But also I want to put you guys onto this app that I just discovered. So originally, I was using this app called Lens Buddy, and basically it lets you take a shit ton of photos um, and you can decide how many seconds you want in between each photo. So like you could take 30 photos up to 120 or just like unlimited. I usually do like 10 to 20 photos and then I do three seconds in between each photo. So you can just set your phone up and take so many different pictures in so many different poses without having to recruit like your friend, your boyfriend, your mom, your, your sibling. And it is so amazing. You can also do burst mode. So anyway, okay, downtown, we get it. So anyways, I was using Lens Buddy forever and then I just saw a TikTok yesterday saying that like the front camera of Lens Buddy is not amazing and like I've definitely noticed that as well, but I would rather suffer through quality that's not as good than have to like bug Jeremy to take photos of me. So anyways, I was using Lens Buddy and then yesterday on TikTok, someone called out the shitty quality of Lens Buddy and uh, I'm now using Photo Timer Plus, which is like the same concept. So you can take as many photos as you want. Again, I usually go between like 10 and 30 and then you can set 
set the delay to be like three seconds or a minute in between. I think three to five is like probably the best delay. And Photo Timer Plus automatically just saves them to your camera roll. And I feel like there's pros and cons here. Lens Buddy, you have to go in and favorite which ones you want to send to your camera roll. But I feel like that's also helpful because then you don't have to sort through one billion photos like me today after this shoot. So I feel like there's pros and cons to both sides, but like I have taken so many pictures today. Oh my God. I'm so excited though, because like I've run, oh, well that's not, that's not, we're done there, we're done there. I've just like run out of places to take photos in my house. Or like you guys have seen every space a thousand times. So this is like so refreshing to like have so much natural light and like cute decor. 10 out of 10, we'll do this again for sure. Hi guys, we are home. Oh my God, that was honestly so much fun. <laughs> like just being able to take photos with no judgment. I'm not waiting on anyone. Not that I ever get rushed, but sometimes I feel rushed because I don't want to waste anyone's time. I want to get a lot of outfits in, but this was just like so relaxing. 10 out of 10 would do again. And that space was stunning. Just came home to a few packages. Uh, Let me show you. Okay, so first one is from Victoria's Secret. And I don't know who they think they are thinking that this boob of mine will fit into this boob of a bikini. I gave them my size that small and it feels like a big boob. Anyway, so we'll find a home for this with a friend with bigger boobies. Oh, this is a one piece. Okay, with some cute little cutouts. This is a cute color. Also, I love when one pieces have a little bit of padding as well. Okay, this one, not really my style, but again, we'll find a home for it. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, maybe this is like aging myself and obviously Sims is still around, but like, I don't know if they have new bathing suit options, but this was like the cutest bathing suit top for my Sims when I was like, like 12 years old. Anyways, just give me flashbacks of that super cute oh i see it's like a little wrap front um okay yeah not my style but we again we'll find a home for it oh some more bottoms towel i hope by summer things are like more back to normal because i would love to be able to go somewhere where i can wear all of these bathing suits cute and there's a few like body products in here some flops thank you victoria's secret so cute okay and then next this is maybe the funniest pr package i've ever gotten so it's a collab with chipotle and elf oh my god this is hilarious. The colors are very like Chipotle-esque. I'm dying. Oh, actually some of these colors are really pretty. I don't know if I would know how to wear like the greens, like guac and lettuce, but some of these colors are really cute. Lots of like good neutrals. And then look how cute these are. God, that was really difficult. It's a little avocado. And there's even like a mini beauty blender that's got like the pit in there. That's adorable. This is a hilarious and unexpected collab. Also, I just got this and I'm super excited. I wanna do like a two week before and after, maybe even a month, but I got one of these blue and red light acne laser treatment, or it's a, no, a, like a light treatment to help like kill bacteria, etc. So I'm excited to see how it goes. I actually posted something on Instagram a few weeks ago asking if anyone had used them before. I talked to Hiram, um, king of skincare, and he said that a lot of them don't have enough light to be at like an effective level, but I did a bunch of research on this one and I think this one has enough in it that'll actually have the same effect as the lasers that you would have uh, on your face at a facial. So I'm excited, we'll see, we'll see. So don't, don't go out and buy this yet. Let me test it out first and I will tell you if it's worth it or not. Hi guys, I just realized that I've just gone up and down in terms of like not, not very cute and then I was like, oh, cute. And then I was like, at my best, like top, top appearance. And now it's just, it's just gone downhill again. I have like three eyelash extensions and I'm too anxious right now to go lay on a table for an hour. I just like feel trapped with my eyes closed and that I can't get up. So anyways, mental health currently is not strong enough to get my lashes filled, which has then left me with this situation. And I've just been like using chunks of falsies to fill them in for when I have to be on camera, except for right now. Full transparency, I, I pulled them out after dinner. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog now. I hope you enjoyed it. Motherfucking lip injections tomorrow. Boob, I'm getting lipos. Getting lips. <laughs> no, I want to be very clear. I'm not going crazy because I feel like you can always add more and you can do less. Like you can get them dissolved. But the goal is to just get an amount that I like. When's, so. When's the butt, um, the butt implants coming? Never. Okay. Bye. Yep.